Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to generate your statement of account on Kudi. There are a lot of reasons why you might need this statement of account. Sometimes you might want to apply for uh, POS from other companies or from other from Kudi itself uh, and they might request for statement of account. The way you use your bank statement of account, you can use statement of account from Kudi to also apply for things. Now you can also need this statement of account to uh, call, uh, to check your account for reconciliation or just to balance your account. Maybe you notice that I uh, have some money uh, missing on your account so you can quickly generate the statement of account to check if you are actually on the good side. Alright, if you are new to this channel, click on the subscribe button below uh, and also give this video a thumbs up uh, so that others can see it as well and if you have any question, leave it in the comments box below. Alright, let's get into it. Now to get your statement of account, log into your Kudi app. This is the first page you see. You can see my, my picture at the top, my name there. So alright, so just click on transaction at the bottom here. You see transaction. So it will display your transactions okay now the, the next thing you do is at the top right hand corner top right right hand corner at the top here you see three dotted line three dotted lines in the vertical position this one this three dotted line three dotted lines you click on those three dotted lines okay when you click on it you see different options that will pop up you see request accounts request account statements image transaction reports other stuff so you just click on request account statements so it will ask you for the duration let's say you want to print it from uh, uh, 18th of last month you click on ok then you to okay let's pick today today is 14 okay now request for request statement so it will bring your email if you if it doesn't bring your email you can type it yourself let me use another email so that it will be fast okay let me use my normal email not my business mail so just click on continue after putting your mail so let's wait for this so if you are here to subscribe click on the subscribe button all right email has been sent okay let's wait this might take few minutes probably a minute or two okay let's check that so if you can't find it in your primary box it's possible it's in the spam folder so you can check your spam folder i think this is it now this is it it's in the primary mail box so could the account statement let's click on that so okay so it will be sent as an attachment so you see attach file that's your statement of account click on download it so usually this is password protected yes it is usually password uh, protected so uh, okay so uh, uh, the, and the password is usually the last four digits of your phone number I repeat it is the last four digits of the phone number you use to register that particular Kudi account Let's say your phone number is 08237820379. The one you use to register could be so the, the last four digits of that phone number is uh, 0379. That will be the password for this particular document. And uh, if you want to send it to someone, it is very advisable that you uh, remove the password before sending it. Okay, let me show us how to do that. Uh, I'll show us some tools you can use to remove the password so you'll be able to use the uh, statement of accounts. Let's show us quickly. I think to ask for um I think the number I use for this one is uh, uh nine four three five sixty eight. Okay, I think it's sixty one one. That's the password. You see, to ask for password, I think the password is sixty eleven for this particular document. So sorry, my phone is slow a little. There are a lot of work on it. <laughs> a lot of recorders on it okay so if you are here to subscribe click on the subscribe button below okay now the statement has been displayed if you miss the password it might not display the statement of account so you see all your transactions you see everything there so now if you want to remove the password so that you can share it with, with others it will, it's so that it won't be asking for password probably you want to use it to apply for pos from other companies so here is how to do it you go to your browser Okay, I'll be leaving the link uh, uh, to the to this particular website below, or you can just go to Google and type it there. W, let me just close the app. Uh, okay, so in the search, just put PDF.
remover pdf password remover remover okay just type that pdf password remover just search google okay the one i usually love to use is this small pdf word so i'll be leaving the link in the description box below because i love their services they can uh they, they help you do a lot of things uh including how to sign signature maybe you have a document you want to sign the signature a, a signature on online you can use that you can use more pdf word so what you just need to do is to click on choose file okay my, sorry my phone is slow okay choose file it says to work let's wait okay you see downloads i'm using an android phone so so click on downloads so the recent that i'm not sure if, if it will take us to the recent download but the way i usually do this is to first open it on my phone I usually open any documents on my phone with WPS so that whenever it brings me to this side, I can. Okay, it's still loading. I can easily choose WPS Office without start without me starting to look for the documents. So I think it should bring us to the doc. Uh, are we sure? Okay, let's click on WPS documents. Okay, make sure it's there. Okay, it's still showing okay let's give it some time yours will not be slow as this because my phone is okay now i think this is it has opened w so this is a attached file i think that's the name of the documents just click on this click on the attached file that's the file we are looking for from this device three minutes ago let's click on that i think we've selected it oops you have not clicked on something else so it's uploading now so it will take a while to upload okay you just it will say i think it's where that i have i have the right to edit this file and remove this but it's product protection just tick on that and click on unlock pdf sometimes it might ask you for the password all right he's asking for the password which is 60 11. so once you put the password you just click on really unlock so uh no, this cancel so now after that it, it has successfully unlocked the documents what you just need to do is to click on download file download file so it will automatically download the file that doesn't have any password on it you see download the file that doesn't have any password on it so this is the file you share with people so so that they won't uh, they won't be having issue opening your uh, file see attached file you see that it brings unlock so this this is still the same file nothing has changed there so that's basically how to uh that's basically how to remove the password generate settings of accounts for kodi pos and also uh, also remove the password so that you can easily use it anywhere all right thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video click on the thumbs up uh, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel all right thank you very much and see you